We're back with the world of Dune, and no, we're not talking about Denis Villeneuve's Dune Part 3 yet. That hasn't even been filmed, but within the same year of Dune Part 2 coming out, we have a brand new show, Dune Prophecy. This is going to be my Episode 1 review. I am going to talk spoilers, but not like super in-depth. Basically, what I'm here to do is give you guys my reaction after watching the first episode. Did I like it? Did I hate it? Did I love it? And I overall came away going, that was intriguing. I didn't have the same gravitas feeling of reading the Dune novel, nor did I have the same feeling after watching a Denis Villeneuve Dune film. And I didn't expect to get that from here. I expected just to get a little bit more of the world of Dune and specifically the space, the different guilds, and most importantly, since this series focuses in on the Benny Gesserit, their kind of background. And for the most part, I found this series the the premiere to be decent it intrigued me enough to want to watch the next episode but it didn't like make me go oh my god this is the best damn tv show of the year now that goes to the penguin shout out to you hbo for that show but i liked it I, I thought it was fine i think some of the reviews have been coming out that are a little bit middling and um i don't i don't blame them like i, I went through and read some after watching the first episode and i overall understood why people would come away from this and i think for me as someone who just likes the world of Dune and wants more of it, like I love the movies for what they are, but I've always wanted them to dive into more stuff that the novels, of course, get into. And I think using this series as, of course, the Benny Gesserit, I think it is interesting to get a little bit more of a point of look on them, get a little bit more of a point of look at this entire time frame. And while the the biggest issue with this series, and I, and I will say this like right off the top, we know where the Dune goes. We we know Paul Atreides. We know the prophecy. We know where all this kind of comes about. I ha I have to say that it kind of like sucks because the, the first episode feels like it builds up so much on that where it's like us as a fans have most likely seen both films. We know what's to come. So I'm interested to see like what twists and turns we might still get in that. But what I basically got from doing prophecy is more background context on a different time frame of this world and like i said the benny gesserit and good performances as well and that's about it like the opening shot of this where it shows like the war against the machines the thinking machines i thought was a great start and i think is one of the few things that actually gets me really hyped for this and i liked how it seems like they're coming off this very you know not as close as it could be but you can definitely tell the fear of that. And that's not something that's ever associated or talked about really in the films. So to get that a little bit more in the show is interesting. I, I think, I wonder if it would have been even better to actually make a show based on that entire thing, maybe, and maybe one day. But Dune Prophecy basically solidifies itself as trying to be Game of Thrones in a sci-fi world. And I don't think it completely is that to a certain degree, but I also can't base that on just one episode. I need to see the rest of the series because there is political scheming. There's already scheming between different characters and backstabbing and cheating and lying and all sorts of things that you would expect from a political scheming type of thing like Dune, like Game of Thrones, like Succession, whatever it may be. HBO does these things so well. And again, I, I I feel like I just need to see more of this. Like, I just need to see more of the series to see how it overall pans out. Because I, I didn't come away, like, blown away. I was just more like, this is cool additions to the world of Dune that I'm interested in. And for the most part, I do want to shout out, I really like how they bring in some of the other guilds, of course, specifically Valia Harkin. I'm probably mispronouncing that. I think Emily Watson does a really good job as this character, and to see her upbringing just in like the one flashback sequence where she does the voice, that was fantastic. Alongside that, I also was really impressed with, and I forgot Mark Strong was in this series, so when I saw him show up and he's the Emperor, I got just instantly excited. I think Mark Strong is such an excellent actor and a very underrated actor at that. The rest of the cast, pretty pretty damn good. Like, I, there was not one weak performance, nor was there one weak thing. I think this just comes as far to say that Doom Prophecy is going to be a slow burn. It's going to be a slow burn. Like, that, that is for sure. This first premiere episode very much just establishes the characters that we're following, establishes the different guilds that we're going to be following, the main central concept of what's going on, and what this season will be about, and that... That, that's about it. I mean, that's what a pilot should do. So, I don't know. It, it's weird. Like, I didn't come away blown away. And I've been saying that quite a bit throughout this. I get pretty rambled when it comes down to TV reviews and specifically reviewing them episode by episode. But 
I, I didn't like fully love this and I didn't expect to. I kind of just, I, it was better than I expected it to be. Like it genuinely, like I, when a Dune series was originally announced, I got so excited, but it just felt like it got delayed, 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 delayed. And finally it's here. And so I watch it and I'm like, you know, I didn't really follow any of the buildup. I'm like, okay, let's just give this a shot. It's HBO. HBO always does amazing things. And I kind of just was like, okay, that was good. That was, that was solid. That was good. That was solid. Nothing mind blowing, nothing memorable. I could see some people being like, yeah, you know what? I'm probably just going to wait till to binge it. I wouldn't blame you. I'm going to be covering this week to week, but definitely leave your thoughts down below. Hit that like, subscribe, and what was your reaction to the Dune Prophecy Episode 1 review? Were you more into it than I was? Are you a Dune fan? Are you a lover of this series? Or are you just someone that's experienced the movie, saw there was a show, and was like, I need to watch this, and then you watched it, and you're, you either loved it, liked it, or hated it? Let me know down below. Thank you so much again for watching, and of course, until next time, stay classy.